Hey everyone, I'm April, and for today's Make in a Day Crochet Spooky Edition, we are making a cat bow. As Halloween approaches, we get to turn up the dial on the spooky meter. And as you know, I absolutely love to accessorize. It's probably my favorite thing to do for Halloween. While I don't necessarily dress up, I put stuff in my head. I even had to lower my chair for this just to fit that in frame. Now you may be asking yourself, April, how does a person wear a cat though? Well, I like to wear it on top of my head. As you can see here, I just pin it in place with bobby pins. This is entirely normal behavior. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about but you could also use this as a gift topper or as a decoration of sorts. I mean, there's a lot of different possibilities. I think it's really fun and versatile. I love it. Now what I'm wearing in my hair today and then also what we're going to make in the video is the large version of the cat bow. It's really great. It has a wire in it so that it is adjustable. You can choose to have it as pointy or as flat as you want. It's really great, very flexible. Love it, love it, love it. Yes, I am a genius. But I also do have a small version of this bow. This also has wire in it and it is flexible. It's a little bit easier to wear in one's hair if you're not as, you know, over the top as I am. Just like, can we look at how stinking cute this is? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. The pattern for both of these will be on my blog, link in the description. So like I said, we're not gonna do this pattern in the video, but it will be on my blog. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any uploads of all of the awesome stuff that I am making for you in the future. I promise I have so many cool things planned, so many. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, I promise I can take it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs down. It's okay. You can also find me on social media, specifically TikTok and Instagram, and you can find my crochet patterns on Etsy. All right, my spooky darlings, let's get down to it. Here is what you're going to need to make this cat bow. Like I said, we're going to be making the large cat bow. That's the one on the left, but the one on the right is going to call for the same materials. You're going to need two colors of yarn, one for the base and one for the pink nose. I'm working in gray today because that's easier to see on camera. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle and scissors. You'll also need white and black floral wire, wire snips, needle nose pliers, and a measuring tape. Start off with a slip stitch just like any other project, and then chain 31. Once you've finished chaining, join the beginning and the end stitches together using a slip stitch. Now it's important not to let your chain get twisted as it'll throw off your whole project. And once you slip stitch together, chain one. To make round one, single crochet into each of the chains. And again, be sure not to twist your chain as you're going around. Once you've single crocheted into every chain, join the beginning and the end together with a slip stitch. It'll look something like this. Take this opportunity to double check that nothing has gotten twisted and it's nice and flat. To start round two, chain one and single crochet into every stitch. Join the beginning and the end of the round together with a slip stitch and then chain one. Repeat for round three. For round four, we're going to start by chaining one, and then we're going to single crochet into the first four stitches. Here's three and four. When you get to the fifth stitch, you're going to work two single crochets into the same stitch. And repeat that all the way around. Here's one, two, three, four, and in the fifth stitch, we're going to work two single crochets. For round five, you're going to just single crochet all the way around and then join the end to the beginning with a slip stitch. For row six, you're going to start off with a chain one and then single crochet into the first five stitches. 
and then work two single crochets into the sixth stitch. Do this all the way around. Join the beginning to the end with a slip stitch. For row seven, chain one and single crochet all the way around. For row eight, repeat row six, single crochet in the first five, two single crochet in the sixth stitch. And for round nine, single crochet all the way around. Round 10 is going to be single crochet in the first six stitches, then two single crochets into the seventh stitch. Repeat all the way around. And then row 11 is going to be single crochet all the way around. Round 12 is going to be the same as round 10. Round 13 is going to be the same as round 11. For round 14, we're going to single crochet in the first seven stitches, then two single crochet in the eighth. Repeat that around, and then round 15, you're going to single crochet all the way around. Repeat rows 14 and 15 two more times so that you have a total of 19 rounds. And your project will look something like this. You'll see it really fans out at the top. For the next step, Cut a length of your black wire so it's about 20 or 22 inches long. Fold over one end and then pinch it closed with your needle nose pliers. It'll look something like that. After you finish round 19 of your crochet, chain one and single crochet into that first stitch. Insert your wire through that stitch and then continue to crochet around the wire all the way around the piece. When you have about two inches left to crochet, stop and fold over the wire that's sticking out and pinch the end down with your needle nose pliers. Push both ends down and into the crochet th so that they're kind of flat. Optional is to take a piece of scotch tape and wrap it around discreetly so that it just helps the end stay together. Then continue crocheting until the end and join the end to the beginning with the slip stitch and then fasten off. Here's what your project will look like now. So that wire is gonna help add stability to the ears and let you pose them however you want. Now to make the nose, take your pink yarn and start off with a slip stitch and then chain four. Then work three single crochets into the chain. Chain one, turn your work, and start off row two by single crocheting two together. So we're gonna decrease in this row. Then single crochet in the next stitch, chain one and turn and now we're just going to single crochet two together to give it a point and then pull out some yarn and fasten off we're going to continue making components so now we're actually going to move on to making the whiskers measure out a length of 22 inches of your white wire and cut it now join the beginning and end by wrapping them together you're going to make a circle like this Flatten the circle, just like this, and use your needle nose pliers to pinch the ends so that they stay put. You'll need a total of three of these whiskers. Once you have them, hold them in a bundle and wrap them together with some wire. Attach the bundle to your project by sewing it on with a darning needle and more of your base color. Now don't go through both sides of the bow, you just wanna attach it to the front. Once you've sewn around a couple times, just tie a nice little knot and snip the ends close so they don't stick out too far. Now we're gonna cinch our bow in the middle. Leave yourself an end of about six inches of your base color yarn and then begin wrapping it around the middle of your bow. You're gonna do this about 30 times. You need it to be wide enough so that the nose that you made will fit when you need to attach it. Once you've gone around enough times, sew in the ends through the back side. You want to hide these. To attach the nose, 
take some pink yarn and your darning needle and begin sewing it onto the front side in the middle. Once you've attached it, just snip the end and then use your darning needle to gently push it back into the nose. You just want to hide the end. Now you can just fluff your bow, adjust the whiskers, and poof, you're done! Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a good time learning how to make this cat bow. If you do make any and post them to Instagram or TikTok, please, please, please tag me in your post. I would love to see them. But until we meet again, please stay safe, wash your hands, and happy Halloween. <laughs>